Hey guys, so today you are with me with a new background. I was just, I really didn't like my old background. I felt like it was really dark and cluttered and weird. So I just got some light colored fabric, threw it up on the wall and that's what we're working with now. Um, so today is the ride or die tag. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do this, a ton of people were. I felt like it was kind of like a favorites video. But also I felt like it was a good way for me to tell you like the absolute like things that I would rush out immediately and go buy on the spot if something were to happen to all of my makeup. So that is what these products are. Um, I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt that I love, love, love everything that I have here. Um, and that these are the absolute things that I cannot live without no matter what, have to have them, repurchase them before they're even empty kind of products. So without further ado, I do have a list on my phone. That way I can kind of go through things. And some things I don't have right now because I'm trying to use up other stuff before I repurchase them. So if that's the case, then I'll just try to pop up like a little picture here on the side and work with it that way. So let's get started. So starting in kind of the direction you would go with like if you were listing out makeup we're going to start with foundation um the foundation that i would 100 percent go out and buy if something happened to all my makeup is the nars sheer glow it is the foundation that i always go back to i try and try so many other foundations but that is just the absolute one that i will always 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 repurchase i love it more than anything it lasts really well on my skin and it still looks kind of like a satin natural foundation it's not too matte it's not too dewy Kind of like that perfect in between and i absolutely love 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 it um, and they have a huge selection of colors so if one day i do self tan which like never happens then i know i can get a color from them but if i'm always my pasty pale self i always have a color with them so i just absolutely love it lasts all day on me it's just it's just beautiful now concealer this is actually a recent love um up until probably about a week and a half ago i would have said the nars creamy radiance concealer which is pretty neck and neck with this one but i just got this one and i'm just it is so freaking good i absolutely love it and that is the tarte shape tape it is just so beautiful i absolutely love this concealer it's so full coverage without looking thick or cakey or dry or too like creamy like because sometimes you can get a full coverage concealer like take the becca complexion like coverage concealer or something the one that's in the pot super full coverage but it's just very thick feeling and very sticky but it does the job this one is just kind of like that perfect like doesn't feel thick doesn't feel heavy doesn't look too moisturizing to where you look like you're sweating it's just kind of that perfect it's that perfect concealer. It's so good, it is so good. Now with powder, I did mention this in my last um, current favorites video. The powder has to be the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Powder. This stuff is stupid expensive. I don't know why, but it's just so good. Um, and if I'm being fair, I've had this for at least four, maybe five months, and like it's barely got like a dent in it. Um, I mean, granted, I don't use a ton. I just kind of just fluff it on where I need it, but it is just so good. So it sets your makeup without making it look powdery, without making it look cakey or dry. It doesn't grab in any dry spots when I do get a little bit more dry on my cheeks. It is just so smooth and so beautiful, and it just lays over my foundation. Any foundation I've worn it with, it lays over beautifully. So the next product is a, another face product, and that is the contour product. And you can definitely see this is well loved. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. Um, the highlighter, not my favorite. It's very, very subtle. Um, so if you like subtle highlighters, this is your, your deal. I really wish this would come in a single though. I absolutely love this. It is the perfect tone for if you're fair or if you're light to fair, and you can still get away with it even if you're medium. And then they do now have a shade for deeper skin tones as well, which I think is fantastic. Um, it is just, it's so perfect. I love this stuff. I got this, this specific one almost two years ago in October at the Charlotte Tilbury event when she launched at the Grove in LA. Um, and I'm just, I still have this much. I mean, it lasts forever. So it is an expensive product, but it does last so, so long. I absolutely love it. Ooh, and the shelf life is 30 months, so it's still not expired yet, which is good because when I said that I've had it for almost two years, I was like, oh God, how old is this? But it's 
good for 30 months and I haven't even had it for 24, so we are good. That was math that I just did and I'm proud of myself. Now for blush, I um, definitely have to go with the Illamasqua Blush and Morale. I mentioned this in my last favorites video. This is just a blush that I will always reach for. It is so unique and so beautiful. Um, it has the slightest, slightest bit of shimmer, so it just helps to really blend very easily. Um, it gives like a very, very subtle sheen to the skin. I have it on right now. It is just so pretty. It's such a unique color. You just take the tiniest amount and fluff it on, and it just gives such a beautiful glow to the skin. Um, I think brighter colors and blushes are really underrated. People will really go for like the peachy and the neutrals and things that um, are very natural when they don't realize that like super bright blushes can actually go on really beautifully and natural. But this blush is just, it's my ride or die. It's the one that I would have to pick up, the one that I'd have to reorder. It's just so unique and so beautiful and something that I always have on my top shelf for my makeup so I can always reach for it really easily. I love this stuff so, so much. For highlighters, it's gonna come as no surprise to anybody, but it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Highlighter Kit in Gleam, specifically um, Crushed Pearl, Starburst, and Mimosa. I don't really use hard candy a lot just because I, I don't feel like it translates well on my skin. Um, maybe if I was a bit tanner but I love mixing Starburst with Mimosa or Crushed Pearl with Mimosa if I want something a little bit more subtle because Mimosa on its own is too dark for me. Um, but I absolutely love the versatility of these three shades on my fair skin. It is just absolutely beautiful. It's not what I have on right now, which probably I should have worn. Um, this is actually the Sleek um, Highlighter Kit in Solstice, which is like a drugstore favorite. Um, I absolutely love these. They don't grab onto any texture. They don't emphasize it. They're just so finely milled that they just really glide over the skin really beautifully um, and just give a gorgeous, gorgeous highlighted effect. I always, always get compliments when I wear this, but it is definitely the highlighters that I reach for the most. Moving on to eyes, I'm just going to throw in a primer really quick. It is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I have been using this literally for probably six, seven, eight years. I can't even remember. Uh, and it is just, it's always done the job. It's always good. Can't get for eyes, I know probably a lot of you are gonna be surprised that it's not like some kind of palette or anything like that, but it is actually the Tom Ford, what is this? The Cream and Powder Eye Color, such a long name, in Naked Bronze. This shade is just to die for. So it's got the cream color underneath and then it's got a pressed pigment on top. This is the duo that I reach for if I need good makeup but really quickly done. I just take this on a synthetic brush, I put it all over my lid and I kind of wing it out a little bit and then I take a fluffy brush and I blend it out then I take the um, pressed glitter and I just kind of dab it over the top and it looks like I've done a lot more than I actually did. It is so beautiful, it makes my eyes pop so well. It is so expensive but it is so worth it. One of the best makeup purchases I've done in a long time. So for brows, I actually don't have that product with me either, but it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Brow Wiz. I am using her brow definer right now, but it is just like, is the eyeliner pencil that keeps on giving. It just like never runs out and I don't know why. And it works well, it's just, I like, I prefer the small nib of the Brow Wiz for some reason. Um, but this one's just still going strong, so I've just been trying to get use that one up so I can get the Brow Wiz again because I'm trying to be resourceful. Um, but I absolutely love the Brow Wiz. I like the Brow Definer too, I just really prefer the Brow Wiz. Um, sticking with brows, I am gonna do a brow gel favorite because I feel like not many people know about this brow gel and that's why I felt like I really wanted to mention it, but it is the YSL Brow Gel. It comes in two colors, which kind of sucks, but it comes in a brunette and a blonde shade. And I do feel like the two colors are pretty versatile. I really do wish they had more of an auburn shade um, for our redheaded ladies and gentlemen out there. But I just, I love this brow gel. It's got the perfect amount of hold and without like looking crispy or crunchy. Like I feel like the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel is like cement for your brows, which is great if you have super unruly brows. Um, I just like something that's got a moderate hold, but that also really helps to show the texture of the hair on my brows. Um, and this does that because that's what I love brow gels for is it kind of brings texture back into the brow so it looks, you see the hair better so it makes your brows themselves look fuller um, without using a pencil. But this one is my absolute favorite. I bought it on a whim one day and it is 
absolutely 100% the best bra gel I have ever, ever, ever used in my life. Now going on to liner. So here's the thing, I don't love liners that much. I just, I've fallen out of love with them over the past year. I used to wear them all the time. Now I don't really do it a lot. If I do, it's just like a little smudging in my lash line because I like more of a smoky, like smudgy liner as opposed to a sharp liner. But if I were to choose, I do have a couple favorites. Liquid favorite would definitely be the Steel Stay All Day Liquid Liner. If anytime I want a cat eye or something like that, this is the one I reach for. And gel liner is the Inglot gel liner number 77. That stuff does not go anywhere. I use it on my clients. That's what's in my kit. It is just like, it does not move. Like, I mean, it is hard getting it off the back of my hand because I use my hand as a palette to warm up the product. It is so hard to get it off the back of your hand. You have to use like an oil and like a good brawny paper towel or some crap. It is so good, it stays put, it doesn't smudge. They're amazing. Moving on. So for mascara, I'm kind of torn. Like, I'm not, I'm not one of those people that's like crazy about mascaras. Like, I love them, like I have to use one, but there's never really one that sticks out like sharply in my mind. If it were, it would be probably Benefit's Roller Lash, Too Faced is Better Than Sex, or Charlotte Tilbury's Legendary Lashes. But even then, I'm just kind of like, oh yeah, they're good, but like, they're just, it's like mascara, I don't know. I'm very blah about mascara, so I couldn't really choose one out of those three, so I kind of just left it. Leave it as you will. So for lips, for lip liners, it would definitely be a toss up between the Kylie lip liners or the NYX lip liners, which is weird because they're very different. The Kylie lip liners are very soft and creamy and the NYX lip liners are a little bit more waxy and firm, um, but I am gonna go with the NYX lip liners on this simply because of their affordability and their color range and their ease of purchasing. Um, I would go with the NYX lip liners. One of my favorite is the pale pink lip liner from them. It is absolutely beautiful. It's kind of more like a cool toned pale pink. It is like the perfect um, lip liner for me if I wanna do a nude lip and I absolutely love it. Now for lipstick, I'm not gonna do like a lip gloss, a lipstick, and like a liquid lipstick. I just decided I wanted to keep one product, the absolute one product that I had to have if I were to lose all of my makeup, and that is the MAC Lipstick in Speed Dial. Such an underrated color, but absolutely one of my favorites. It is just a beautiful, um, kind of more of a warm toned pink with gold reflex in it. You can't see the gold though when you actually apply it. It is just, it's like my perfect, my perfect lipstick. It's the lipstick that I put on and I feel instantly better, like in a flash. I love, love, love it so much. And I definitely think that if you're in the market for a new MAC lipstick and you don't know which one and you don't wanna go with any of like the ones that you always hear about, I'm looking at you Velvet Teddy, get the F out of here. You're pretty, but I'm tired of hearing about you. Then definitely check out Speed Dial. It is my number one my absolute number one out of like all 700 MAC lipsticks that I have. All right guys, so that is my ride or die makeup tag that was created by Jaclyn Hill. Um, those are the absolute products that I can't live without. Please let me know down below what are some of your ride or die makeup products, something that you can't live without. Uh, I'd love to hear about that kind of thing because I just, I just need to know what I need to buy for myself. Um, so I will talk to you all very soon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you all very very soon in my next video bye um but that is the throne of glass series now if you have been following me for a while you've probably heard about this series because i know i've talked about it before